Hello there, fellow explorers. King Rome here, your trusty guide to the wonders of the world. I'm thrilled to whisk you away on an exciting journey, unveiling the magnificence of some of Italy's most beautiful locales. Buckle up, adventurers. We're about to embark on a journey to Italy's hidden gems. First stop, Venice, the city built on water. Don't forget your gondola. Ah, Venice, a city that dares to defy the laws of nature, standing tall and proud on over a hundred small islands. It's like someone looked at a puddle and thought, you know what this needs? An entire city. Every corner of this city tells a story, from the grandeur of Piazza San Marco to the intimate charm of hidden alleyways. And let's not forget the gondolas. These sleek black vessels are more than just boats. They are floating time machines whisking you back to an era where life moved at a slower pace. Of course, you can't talk about Venice without mentioning the iconic landmarks. The Doge's Palace, the Rialto Bridge, the Grand Canal, they all await you in this floating city. Just remember, if you drop your map in the water, it's not a disaster. It's a Venetian tradition. Next, we're off to Rome, where history and pizza compete for your attention. Ah, Rome, the eternal city, where every cobblestone has a story to tell. You know, they say all roads lead to Rome, but they forget to mention that all those roads are lined with gelato shops. It's a city where you can stumble upon an ancient ruin while looking for the nearest pizzeria. You might think the Colosseum's impressive, but have you tried a slice of Roman-style pizza? It's a thin, crispy delight that could easily outshine even the grandeur of the Pantheon. And speaking of the Pantheon, did you know it's still the world's largest unreinforced concrete dome? It's been standing for nearly 2,000 years, but I bet it doesn't taste as good as a Roman pizza. So grab a slice, find a sunny piazza, and let the spirit of Rome wash over you. Remember, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. That means eating a whole pizza to yourself, right? Now we're going to take a breath of fresh air in the stunning countryside of Tuscany. Ah, Tuscany, it's like stepping into a dreamy renaissance painting. Picture this, endless rolling hills, bathed in the warm glow of the Tuscan sun, stretching as far as the eye can see. The landscape is dotted with vineyards producing some of the finest wines in the world. But Tuscany is more than just a pretty face. It's the rustic charm that really sets it apart. Imagine quaint stone farmhouses nestled among the hills while cypress trees stand tall, swaying gently in the breeze. And let's not forget about the food. Freshly baked bread, ripe tomatoes, and of course the region's famous olive oils. And as the sun sets, painting the sky in hues of pink and orange, you find yourself sipping on a glass of Chianti, savoring the flavors of the day. Ah, Tuscany, where the wine is as unforgettable as the sun sets. Let's sail away to the Amalfi Coast, where the mountains meet the sea. Ah, the Amalfi Coast, where nature's beauty is on full display. Picture this, folks, towering mountains draped in lush greenery, cascading into the crystal-clear azure waters of the Mediterranean. It's a place where time seems to stand still, and the hustle and bustle of city life feels worlds away. What's more, the Amalfi Coast is dotted with vibrant cliffside villages that seem to defy gravity. These vibrant hamlets are a riot of pastel hues, clinging to the steep terrain like colorful confetti, You've got Positano, Ravello, and Amalfi itself, each more charming than the last. Imagine sipping limoncello on a sun-drenched terrace, the salty sea breeze in your hair, and the sound of waves lapping against the shore. It's a sensory experience like no other. Who needs postcards when you have memories of the Amalfi Coast? Ready for a wardrobe upgrade? Welcome to Milan, the fashion capital of the world. This isn't just a city, my friends, it's a runway. Milan is a place where haute couture isn't just a fancy French phrase, but a way of life. The streets here are teeming with high-end boutiques where you can brush shoulders with the fashion elite. But Milan isn't just about the designer labels. It's also home to jaw-dropping Gothic architecture. The Milan Cathedral, or Duomo di Milano, is a testament to this, with its intricate detailing and towering spires. A city of contrasts, Milan not only embraces the new but also cherishes the old. And let's not forget, Milan houses one of the most famous paintings in the world, The Last Supper, by Leonardo da Vinci. It's a city where art and fashion meet, creating a blend of aesthetics that's uniquely Milanese. Milan. Where your fashion dreams come true, and your wallet's nightmares begin. Next, we're heading to San Gimignano, a town with more towers than you can shake a selfie stick at. Imagine walking into a time capsule, with stone-clad streets leading you to the heart of the town, where 14 medieval skyscrapers proudly stand. It's as if you've stepped into a postcard from the Middle Ages. Each tower, a testament to San Gimignano's rich history, stretches towards the sky, as if competing with its neighboring towers. 
And let's not forget the panoramic views from the town. From atop these ancient skyscrapers you can see rolling Tuscan hills, blanketed by an endless expanse of olive groves and vineyards. It's a sight that will make even the most seasoned travelers stop in their tracks. It's not just a town, it's a step back in time, a testament to Italy's rich history, a place where every corner has a story to tell. San Gimignano, where you'll feel on top of the world, quite literally. Now let's escape the crowds and head to the charming town of Matera. Nestled in the southern region of Basilicata, Matera is a timeless beauty, a hidden gem that has seen the rise and fall of civilizations across millennia. This town is like an open-air museum, with its unique cave dwellings known as Sassi. These ancient homes carved into the limestone hills have been continuously inhabited for over 7,000 years. Can you believe that? 7,000 years! That's older than your great-great-great-great... Well, you get the picture. Walking through Matera's narrow winding streets, you can't help but feel a deep connection to the past. The stone walls whisper tales of history, of lives lived long ago. But Matera isn't stuck in the past. Today, these caves house chic boutique hotels, cozy restaurants, and art studios, making it a perfect blend of ancient and modern. Matera, where you can live like a caveman, but with much better food. Finally, we're off to Florence, the city of bridges and the birthplace of the Renaissance. Hold on to your gelato because this city is a feast for the senses. Now let's talk about the Ponte Vecchio, this medieval stone arch bridge with its jewelers, art dealers, and souvenir sellers is like a bustling town on water. It's not just a bridge, it's a living, breathing testament to Florence's vibrant culture. Then there's the stunning Duomo. This cathedral is like a giant ornate wedding cake with its pink, white, and green marble facade. It's got more layers than an onion, and it's just as likely to make you cry with its beauty. And who could forget the world-class art? This is the city that produced Michelangelo, Botticelli, and Da Vinci. It's like the Hollywood of the Renaissance, but instead of movie stars, it churns out immortal masterpieces. Florence, where every street is a masterpiece. Well, adventurers, our Italian journey has come to an end. We've roamed through the floating city, ventured into the capital of the world, basked under the Tuscan sun, and marveled at the coastal charmer. We've strutted through the fashion capital, climbed the city of towers, discovered the hidden gem, and crossed the city of bridges. What a journey it has been! Each of these places holds a special charm, a unique story, and an irresistible allure. These places aren't just geographical locations on a map, they're vibrant chapters in the Grand Book of Italy, each one filled with history, culture, cuisine, and breathtaking landscapes. Remember, my fellow adventurers, these places are not just to be seen, they are to be experienced. To truly appreciate the beauty of Italy, one must not just look, but also listen, taste, and feel. Let the Italian sun warm your skin, let the aroma of the cuisine tantalize your senses, let the melodious language fill your ears, and let the breathtaking views fill your heart with joy. I hope I've sparked a flame of wanderlust in you. I can't wait for you to embark on your own Italian adventure, to create your own memories, and to experience the magic of Italy firsthand. Remember, every journey begins a single step, and there's no better time to take that step than now. So, pack your bags, tie your shoelaces, and get ready to explore the wonders of Italy. Trust me, it's an adventure you'll never forget. Until our next adventure, this is King Rome signing off. Arrivederci, and don't forget to like and subscribe.